Hello, I'm Dr. Collins and in this short clinical skills video we are going to take a look at a very useful special test that can help identify ruptured Achilles tendons, known as the Simmons triad. Before we demonstrate the test itself, let's take a quick moment to recap the Achilles tendon and how it might be injured. The Achilles tendon is the strongest and the thickest tendon in the human body. It connects the two major calf muscles, the gastrocnemius and the soleus, to the calcaneus, which is the heel bone. When this tendon ruptures, the vital connection between the calf muscles and the heel is lost. And this is exactly what Simmons triad helps us detect. The main role of Achilles tendon is plantar flexion, which is the movement used to push off the ground when we walk, run or jump. Achilles ruptures most commonly affect men aged 30 to 50 during sudden forceful movements like sprinting or jumping. The patient usually presents with a classic history of suddenly feeling a pop or a snap at the back of their leg, sometimes described as if they were kicked or shot despite no physical contact with their ankles. The key risk factors for Achilles tendon ruptures that we should ask during history are sudden spikes in physical activity, recent exposure to fluoroquinolone antibiotics such as ciprofloxacillin that we sometimes prescribe for example for prostitutes and corticosteroid injections, especially if it was near to the area of this tendon. Simmons triad includes, as the name suggests, three key components, which we will discover with a clinical demonstration in a lot more detail imminently. However, here is a mnemonic I created that helps me remember the key components of this triad. The mnemonic is gas, and perhaps the way you can associate this mnemonic with the Achilles tendon rupture is that if you rupture your Achilles tendon, you lose your plantar flexion, which leaves you with no power, just like a car with no petrol or gas. G for gap, you would observe a palpable gap, maybe felt where the tendon has torn. A for angle of declination, the affected foot lies more dorsiflexed at rest compared to the uninjured side. S for squeeze test, which is also known as Thompson test, in which squeezing the calf fails to produce plantar flexion in a ruptured tendon. Simmons triad has a very high clinical value. In fact, the Thompson test alone has a sensitivity of up to 96% and a specificity of over 90%. This, combined with the relatively high sensitivities of the GAP test at around 73% and angle of declination test at around 88%, the combined clinical accuracy of the Simmons triad is nearly 100%. In order to perform a Simmons triad, position your patient in a kneeling position, ideally on an examination couch or a padded chair, with both feet hanging freely over the edge. In cases of Achilles tendon rupture, you will often notice a visible discrepancy between the two limbs right away. That's why it is essential to always compare both sides side by side. Here, on my examination subject, both legs appear symmetrical and there are no obvious signs of rupture. But let's take a look at the image on the top right corner. You can see a clear difference between the two sides and this sets the stage for the triad we are about to explore. Let's now break this down and connect each visible sign with the components of Simmons triad, starting with G for gap. We begin by observing and then gently palpating along the length of the Achilles tendon. In a rupture, you may see or feel a soft gap or dip, typically a few centimeters above the heel where the tendon fibers have torn. In my patient, there are no gaps visible or palpable. However, in the reference image, you may notice subtle indentation along the tendon, a sign that would likely be palpable during examination. Next, we look at A for angle of declination. This refers to the resting angle of the foot. In my patient, both feet sit at equal angles, suggesting intact tendon function. But in the reference image, notice how the affected foot lies in a more dorsiflexed position. This happens because the plantar flexor tone is lost when the Achilles tendon is ruptured. Lastly, we will perform the squeeze test, also known as the Thompson test. When you gently squeeze the calf of a healthy individual, it should cause visible plantar flexion of the foot. 
As you can see here, both of my patient's feet plantar flex in response to the calf compression. But in a ruptured tendon, this movement would be completely absent because the connection between the muscle and the heel is no longer intact. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out our other clinical examination videos. And remember, there are also lots of other free videos and a free question bank in our website. Good luck!